so hello viewers today we will discuss another important topic metal carbene complex or carbonoid carbonoid as we are discussing the carbene carbenes have two valence electrons and the two monoalkyl substituents on the carbon so it can exist uh, these two valence electron if they are paired then we call with the opposite spin then we call the singlet carbene if these two valence electrons are unpaired with the parallel spin then we call it triplet carbenes so this one the metal carbene complex or carbenoid when this carbene form metal bond metal any metal which form the bond with the carbene these these two valence electrons then we call it metal carbene complex or carbenoid so depending how we classify we metal carbene complex or carbenoid are classified into two main classes fischer carbenoid or schrock carbenoid depending on the type of the ligand which is attached to the metals and also it depends on the oxidation state of the metal and the substituents type of the substituents which are attached to the carbene carbon so these two are the main categories of the carbenoid one is fischer carbenoid and other is the schrock carbenoid so how so in fischer carbenoid the metal have low oxidation state so oxidation state uh, is a uh, normally up to plus 2 or maybe started from zero for example chromium iron and this so these metals with low oxidation states are present in the fischer carbenoids and in the ligands which are attached to the metal are ligands are sigma donor and pi acceptor okay same thing here when in the case of the schrock carbenoid high oxidation state of the metal oxidation state of the metal is uh, normally occur in high oxidation state like these metals and its oxidation states are greater than plus 3 so in this case as in this case the ligands are sigma donor and pi acceptor for example these are the examples of the ligands and in case of the schrock carbenoid the ligands are sigma donor only so here now we are talking about these substituents which are attached to the carbene the substituents in the case of the fischer carbenoids are pi electron donor for example alkoxy or amino alkyl they are pi electron donor whereas in, in the case of the schrock carbenoids the substituents which are attached to the carbene are hydrogen and alkyl substituents non pi electron donors so these are hydrogen and alkyl substituents they are non pi electron donor so fischer carbenoid normally obeys the 18 electron rule whereas the case of the schrock carbenoid they normally don't obey the 18 electron rule so this is the example of the uh, fischer carbenoid this uh, you can see this ligand Uh, which is a methoxy it's a uh, uh, ligand are so this uh, substituent is pi electron donor this electron goes here and then this uh, this uh, uh, through this carbene this electron is going to the metal and then these uh, in the metal the d orbitals and these carbon these ligand which is attached they are sigma donor and pi electron acceptor so in the case of uh, if you see this is the uh, this so this carbene carbon is electrophile in nature because this uh, you can see in the case of this one fischer carbenoid this carbon which is carbene carbon it is electrophilic in nature so this is the example of uh, schrock carbenoid in this case you can see they are sigma donor these uh, substituents Rashid butyl acid and this is a hydrogen and this carbon as you know the 
oxidation state are of the or you can see the electron activity of this carbon is greater than this metal so that is why this carbon is nucleophilic in nature in the case of the shirok carbene so in this one the, there the ligands which is attached here the ligands are sigma electron donor only so, okay and this is uh, neopentyl three, three neopentyl ligands are attached to this metal so this uh, so basically we are discussing this nature of the carbene here the nature of the carbene is carbon is nucleophilic and here in the case of the fischer carbonyl the nature of the carbene is electrophilic so another thing which is in the case of the fischer carbene noite this carbene which has the valence electron two valence electron are have are have opposite spin and this uh, pair this, this is we call singlet carbene so in the case of the fischer carbonyl singlet carbene is present and these are electrons as this carbene carbene these two electrons they are donating so, okay and then this uh, these uh, ligands are pi acceptor so these then uh, the metal have empty d orbitals okay and these electrons are donated in the metals empty d orbitals and then this uh, electron in the metals which have in the d orbitals the, those electrons are then back donated to the uh carbene empty p orbitals so you can see this bonding this back donation carbene donates the electron to the metal vacant d orbitals and then the, from the d orbitals of the metals these electron back donated to the empty p orbitals of the carbene so this is the how the electron flow okay and then here you can see spin multiplicity we calculate that these are singlet carbene since spin multiplicity it has a formula 2s plus 1 s is the spin quantum number and the value for one electron the spin quantum number is negative half and for the other electron it's positive half so we put this value of the spin quantum number of the electron negative half and positive half we get this here zero and then the spin multiplicity is one so that is why the sort of singlet carbene the spin multiplicity is one now we take on the other case in the case of the shirok carbene oid right? this uh, spin multiplicity because these uh, here the, in this case you can see the it's uh, it's occur in the carbene valence electron occur in the triplet state here you can see the spin multiplicity we use the formula 2s plus 1 for so that both electrons have parallel spin so plus half we put the value here it's come 1 and then this it means that spin multiplicity is from this formula it comes 3 so that is why we call it triplet with this car carbene is triplet with the unpaired electrons so in the case of the shirok carbonyl the carbene is triplet with the spin multiplicity is 3 So this is the explanation for the Fischer carbonyl and the Shirok carbonyl and their comparison. Whereas in the case of the Shirok carbonyl, here you can see the as this carbene is exists in the triplet carbene triplet state, both the valence electrons are have parallel spin. so its a spin multiplicity can be calculated with this formula 2s plus 1 both the electrons have parallel spin so plus half and plus half it has been uh, spin multiplicity is calculated uh, to be 3 so here you can see the bonding if uh, with the metal it's uh, the one electron is uh, formed through mutual sharing this electron of the carbene carbon and this electron from the metal they are mutually shared so they form the covalent bond 